Welcome back. King Rhaegar is uh, doing what he can for the good people of King's Landing. He's trying to build a sick house, but one day, one day it'll definitely happen. He's also trying to keep uh, peace within the realm, but he'll give him a bit of leniency. He doesn't like to intervene in places like the north. If the uh, Karstarks did decide to continue their rebellion again against the uh, Bolters there, he wouldn't have got involved too much. It's a little bit distressing that Robert Baratheon is still alive. But he has driven himself into lunacy. He's the same guy, just a bit of a lunatic. Stannis is married to Lady Barbara Bracken. He's had two sons, Walter and, well, Stannis. And Renly is, in this universe, not a homosexual. Well done, Renly. He is uh, betrothed to Lady Innes Ironwood. But Robert, Robert, <laughs> Robert doesn't want to uh, remarry, it seems. We need to get rid of Robert. We could duel him. We really could duel the man. But what we really need is to get him in prison for something. Oh! Oh, we actually do have reason to imprison Robert. He have has fled the realm. Robert Baratheon in this universe is not king, but he is instead a... a mercenary with the Maiden's Men. Well done, Robert. So Robert has just fled to uh, Volantis. Good. Which now makes Lord Stannis the, uh, the Lord of Shipwreck Bay and Storm's End. A very powerful order of six and a half thousand men, but Lord Paramount John Connington is uh, stronger. Unless uh, Stannis were to get a bit of a coalition going. So Roberts is now out of Westeros. The Baratheons, they'll eventually get over it, I'm sure, but it is Roberts who is really pissed. The others just sort of joined in. Uh, the Falconer is expecting me. New hunting bird. Let's go hunting dry. Yeah, let's. let's have Lord Rollins like us a bit more, shall we? Lord Barton. Terrific. Uh, my young ward has finished his education in military strategy and command. It is evidence that he has excelled in his studies. Well done, Beric. Beric Dondarrion is apparently a good man. Let's try and arrange him a good match. He is my, was my ward, after all. He's not very good, nice. There is a Lady Lara Bolling, or a Lady Miranda Royce. Royce is the more prestigious house, but Bollings are Stormlanders. Let's go for Lady Bolling. Get Beric a uh, good match there. Beric is still the heir to uh, Black Haven, so it would be good to uh, give him a terrific match there. As you ponder new ways to improve your calm, court physician Perastan approaches you with an idea. Your Grace, if you were to institute a system of provincial apocryteries, the health of your subjects would improve significantly. In turn, that should be more productive. A wise idea, I would make it so. Why is good to have uh, the peasants alive so they can continue to do their hard work? Also, who else do we have from House Bolling here? Is Herbert a good knight? Herbert is indeed a good knight. Can I get him caught? No. Mark with special interest though, if we ever do need a new King's Guard member, Herbert Bolling is a, is a great man for it. They're both formidable, Sir Herbert and Sir Harlan. Great knights. Great knights. But do I really want Stormlanders in my uh, King's Guard right now when we are? Oh, some of the Stormlanders did support me, of course, the Conningtons and the uh, Lockmoss. After his careful planning, Ralph Kinney has uh, raised an army, has he? That is a nice sigil, the Thunderbolt Hands, the whole uh, Palpatine Thunderstrike. Very nice. I don't know how it's Kenny. Be interesting to see what some of these guys get up to. Uh, Gunny Sunstone has died. Well, too bad. Not really too fussed about his existence. And Roderick Greyjoy has inherited the Iron Isles. Uh, Balon was killed under suspicious circumstances. His brother's all still alive, well, not the oldest tree, but Euron is alive, and he's married. Euron has actually settled down to marry a uh, Godron good brother. Very interesting. And then Victarion is also married to a uh, Wyler there. Urigon is alive. He's married off to uh, a random black goat or cohort chick. And then Aeron. Aeron is not a priest. He does not have damp hair. Also, Robin is alive, and so is Siegfried. The uh, Greyjoys are surviving this this turn. What is this? Lord Samuel the Old is writing to me to express his consternation at the fact Sir Samuel enjoys command of his armies. Wait, what? Oh, is there a different Sir Samuel? 
There are two Sir Samuels. I know I've just moved over anyway, but I don't. Why would I want Sir Samuel leading my army? Let's go have a look at my uh, command slots here. Sir Samuel, 16. He's pretty good. With Marshall, but we have better, like... No, we don't. No, we actually don't. Sir Samuel was just a uh, random king's land of knights. We should raise him nobility then. If he's if he's good enough to rule or lead our armies, he's good enough to be a fucking named man. He's also potentially good enough to be the king's guard. Let's raise him to nobility here. A lot of money. His name will be Fishwell. Samuel Fishwell. No, 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 no. We're not having a guy called Sir Samuel Fishwell. Um, give him a different name. He's just a king's lander. Let's call him. Let's find a fucking badge first. He's a nice. We should have something nicey. Or not. Give him a fucking donkey. Now let's go back to uh, somewhere around here. It's got to be something half decent. How about how about that? Um, gold and grey. Sir Samuel. Uh, he's from. Uh, let's call him Tanner. He is a. Uh, Lander, so Tanner will go well. So Samuel Tanner, there you go, sir. Congratulations. No need for a wife, though. You are a potential King's Guard later on. Mark a special interest. Uh, commander will give to uh, well him. I don't know why he he lost it there. And it sucks that I have to give him so much money for him to be to the highborn. Madness. Uh, Alani's uh, Harlow has died. That's Tion's mother. Fion is alive. 14 years old. Not doing much. Good for him. So I actually have room for another ward now. I should look in at gaining one. Ah, oh, I accidentally made my son stop. Alright. Uh, Range Guardian, let's see who's in court. Anybody decent around here? There is a uh, Lucas Sunderland, perhaps. Gar Sunglass, you're six years old. Let's take you as my ward. Excellent. So let's give awards, my good brother, Viserys. Viserys, he needs a ward. Not a knighthood, though. He can't. He can't be sure a knighthood. Honorary title, court jester, of course! Prince Viserys, uh, Viserys the court jester. Terrific. Let's, um, let's assign him a uh, guardianship over some poor child. What about Brienne? We can have Brienne tutored by Prince Viserys. That, that sounds great. There you go. Congratulations. Uh, oh, there wasn't. No, never mind, it wasn't. Brienne of Tarth, betrothed to uh, Willis Tyrell, is now tutored by my dearest of brother. Terrific. He has very good uh, stewardship education, actually, for Ceres. Ah, very nice of him. Uh, this guy's trying to be my friend, so we should at least try and do it. Uh, Your Grace, I write on behalf of the Iron Bank of Bravos to expect the consternation or at the actions of your bannerman. Lord John Serret. They have failed to pay the due interest on a loan. Uh, placate them, smooth words. Why, why do I care about this? Honestly, why, why do I care? One of my subjects has died of poor health. I, uh, why do I need to be informed about this? Giles Longward has expressed a desire to be married. Is he the heir to House Longward? He is the, ha the heir to House Longward. I'll find him someone nice. Do we have anybody in the court I don't need? No, just this old dear. Ah, uh, anybody around? They're not a really big house, the uh, Langwars. Just a little house over here. So really, any of these women would do. I do like the sigil of house victory. Bridges, Richmond. Is there any uh, crownlanders? No. Well, how about uh, Lady Bridges? Which one? Beryl Bridges? Valentine Bridges? Oh, you're kind. Let's bring you to course. Giles Langward, congratulations on your wedding to Lady Valiette Bridges. Where is House Bridges from? House Bridges is, oh, all the way over from, well, Bitter Bridge, of course. Where else would House Bridges be from but from Bitter Bridge? Terrific. Lord Roberts the Rash has declared Lord Roberts' claim on the Stormlands. Ah, Robert Baratheon, at the head of a uh, 9,000 men, is attempting to reclaim his ancestral seeds of Stormlands. Stannis, however, has remained loyal to his overlord. 
so far. That's very interesting. I'm with Captain Guy. So more forces in uh, service to Roberts. He's in troops in Old Volantis, so he's probably going to be very slow coming over here. Yes, yeah, Stannis Baratheon has betrayed his brother for the Conningtons. Very, very interesting indeed. I could also try to join a walk and die. No, I couldn't. Alas. Some nonsense. Why, why do I not want to support my vassal from a foreign land? Anyway, what quality of education should we get for the future ruler of the realm? Well, I'm going to go with spending highly because he is, again, the future ruler of the realm. Let's give him a martial focus to his education. Try and get him to be a great, great leader of men. Very good. And a betrothed can marry. That is a Willis Tyrell to a Brienne of Tarth. We'll send her off. Save her for my brother. Good. She's no longer tutored by my brother, but there's got to be somebody around here we can have tutored by my brother. Gar Sunglass. He's my ward. Alba Waxley. Alba Waxley, yes. How about you? The Waxleys can be <laughs> tutored up by my dearest brother. Alba, the, the Ed House Waxley, tutored by Viserys. What nonsense. But Viserys, he, uh, he can do what he wants to the boy. I'll just leave him to it. Under my guidance. I don't think this guy is under my guidance. I really don't. Also, who are these people? Why are they in my court? So, ah, uh, Aaron Sunglass. Well, he can, he can stay. Ah! Let's also have a look at the uh, potential righteous imprisonments. Commander Monfort. Why, why are you going to Monfort? Sir Bennett Boggs. Tywin. Esmerende. Lofo of the Great Fork. Carlton Carstad, Serain or Cressy? Why can we rest Cressy? Let's arrest Cressy. Good. And why? Dontos Hollard, why would you start breaking laws, Dontos? Dontos, don't fuck this up. Uh, Master Rogue of Fleet Bottom, the ugly strongman. Is that the Rogue? That is the Rogue. He somehow became the Master of Flea Bottom. What nonsense. Let's arrest him. We'll send him off to the Night's Watch again. Rorg is the guy with Biter in the novels. In the show, um, he was also there, the guy who didn't speak. Or was he the guy who spoke? There's two of them. Oh no, well, the other one was Biter. Yeah, Rorg was the guy talking in the two. The guy who bites. Uh, you know the fucking ones. In the cage. In the cage with... Uh, um, Naharis? Not Naharis. The... Uh, Faceless man guy. Faceless man guy is locked in a cage that starts burning with these two guys. Yes, that guy. That's the current mayor of Flea Bottom. Some fucking how. So we need to get rid of that prick. See, Biter. Biter is in his court. What fucking lunatics. Anyway, let him rot. Uh, let's see. Can I actually banish him straight up to Night's Watch? I call him for trial. I guess we'll be doing that. Ah, uh, Master Rogue is demanded trial by combat. No, he hasn't. No, never mind. What the fuck did I read? He made a reasonable case he's been found guilty. Well, we send him straight off to the ward. So, Rogue, somehow, Rogue, of all people, got knighted. And Albisa is the mayor. What on earth is this nonsense? How on earth is that crooked teeth mole fucker the mayor of Flea Bottom? We need to get rid of him. He needs to be gotten rid of. But I can't imprison him. I can duel him, try to kill him. Let's fucking duel him, see what happens. Uh, as for this, one of the uh, wealthy merchants has claimed that this gentleman here is up to no good. He's also doing something else. Uh, where do I see what he's actually plotting? Do I have to go all the way to Intrigue? Oh shit, that's a lot of known plots. That is a heck of a lot of known plots. It's including trying to kill me. Godric language, you'll be arrested at once. You goddamn fool. Can I revoke his title? No. So, uh, gonna be called for trial. Um, as if you find him. As for him, let him rot and interrogate him. He made a strong case, he's been found guilty. Well, he did actually plot to kill me. We could send him off to Night's Watch. Or we could have him dead. 
Let's send him off to Night's Watch, though. We are a more kind individual. We can see why he might try to plot to kill his monarch or whatever. We'll just uh, let him go off on his way. Uh, who else here do we want to have a look at? Anybody we want to look into? Or to, uh... Who's this? Is this Jared Frey? Of course it's Jared Frey. We can try and get rid of him. No, there's no need to go after Jared Frey. Is anybody here we want to go after? Um... Carlton of Chelstad, you treacherous fucker. He too will be called for trial. Could straight up banish him, actually. Banish him off to the Night's Watch at once. Night's Watch is getting quite a uh, recruitment drive here. Tyrion Lannister, actually. Tyrion Lannister is trying to kill uh, Emery Lork. Oh, that's interesting. Well done. Also, uh, Tywin's trying to do some stuff, but Tyrion. Tyrion is betrothed to my daughter, and he is up to no good. But Tywin, we don't want to fuck with Tywin, but Tywin would actually enjoy it a bit more if we were to arrest Tyrion and send him off to the wall. But no, we'll just we'll leave Tyrion to do what the hell he's up to. Tywin, however, if we do want a civil war, we're going to go after Tywin probably, but we don't want a civil war. Why would we want such a thing? Very guy isn't crazy yet. He's ambitious, brave. He's a kind, scholarly man. He doesn't want to start a civil war for no reason. Gar sunglasses, learning how to fight, good man. Can I uh, tutor my son again? He's not a skilled fighter. I, I want you to be a skilled fighter. I do. Robert must be pissed right now. He's out here fighting an army which should be his. Oh, you're on crow's eyes on the move. After years of careful planning, Euron Greyjoy from the court of Lord Paramount Roderick Giles has raised a large host of er exiles, mercenaries and such, to go off and create a realm of his own. Has he really? He's got one and a half thousand men. That is a war with the ice rivers. He's trying to create a kingdom beyond the wall. You lunatic. Anyway, uh, Tywin here would like to go through with the marriage of Tyrion and Rhaenys. I accept. So my daughter has gone off to uh, cast the rock. And if these guys misbehave, I have a warrant to arrest both of them. I do. We could arrest Tyrion at any point if he's a bit of a dick. So we will keep our eye on our daughter here. And ensure that Tyrion behaves. As though he does want some money, we'll give him the, uh, the least amount possible. You've got enough money. Tywin, you're the rich man of the realm. Why are you asking me for dowry, you fucking... Please. Uh, George uh, Martin has died. That's a shame. We could give it to his son. We could also not. Let's have a look here. Who do I want to be a commander? We'll search the realm for best commanders. You have Andric, you have Arthur. In fact, could we give it to a Kingsguard member? Is that how I get these guys to be commanders here? As well went, Jamie Lannister, Richard Longoff. Alright, Jamie Lannister, can I make you the, uh... Oh, we actually have two castles here. The, uh, King's Gate, Dragon's Gate, I cannot. Because you must be able to marry and all that nonsense. Alright, well, no command ship for you. I actually have two commanders I can steal here. Richard Horb, in service of Stannis Baratheon. And he fought against me. Likes me somewhat, doesn't he? And he doesn't get on with Stannis, but he does. No, that's his opinion. What's his opinion of me? Two. Oh, yeah, of course it says right there. Let's invite him over. We'll grant him the uh, King's Gate. One of Richard Hawk. And we have. Uh, I don't want Ironborn or Northman in the capital. Mandan Moore, of course. So Mandan Moore. would be a great uh, fit. Castle of Dragon's Gate. Excellent. Uh, Robert the Rash can try and come on to end his walk. Fuck off, Robert. Like that. See if he bites. Okay, so uh, Commander Montford of King's Landing will be replaced by Richard Horp and Lord Howard Atsdale will be replaced by Sir Mandon Moore. Very good. James Blackberry, actually. We could replace him with uh, Montford just because Montford is a commander. Excellent. Yes, my dear brother, I grant titles to wherever I wish. 
And yes, of course I'll travel to the wedding. It's my own fucking daughter. But not this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.